Okay, today I'm gonna do a little bit on SMCI's earnings and you know let's try to figure out uh, why the they fell uh, after uh, earnings. So first things first, revenue up under 42, amazing gross profit up, right? But not not by 142%. Okay, so this signifies uh, okay that hey maybe there's something wrong with this right and the gross margin actually came down significantly okay which prompted me to issue a warning uh, for this guy so it was 17 percent whenever you lose more than one or two percent of your gross margin you should take it as an alarm sign okay so now it's 11.2 so you lost five and a half 5.8 percent of your gross margin so that should set your alarm symbols uh. at least you got a thing lah, right okay i can't be there for you all the time okay and the operating income you gotta use the, this and take the operating margin also and then you gotta compare the operating margin i'm pretty sure the operating margin also came down lah. okay so if the gross margin comes down but the operating margin goes up right so that's not so bad so we want to take a look so um it's uh 6.5 percent give or take so last time it was 10.37 so yeah it, it did fall so whenever it falls by two percent that's quite significant okay so it, it, it did fall so better be careful on that right um this is the only part where i find it a bit uh uh scary and the second one is hey you are selling more why are you where's the free cash flow right so this is the thing that we always ask hey where's your free cash flow okay and then when we look at the free cash flow picture we we are kind of shocked right that you know hey um what what the okay what what is going on here why is this uh, minus 635 is this a mistake i don't know right could be who knows the numbers are not really uh, holy shit it is uh. so i'm not really getting the full picture why this minus 635 you know is so bad okay but what i'm thinking is that the change in inventory uh, is really bad like i would say Okay, change in inventory was uh, quite huge. Uh. So they bucked up of inventory, lah. That's what I think. I want to know what is these other operating activities. What what happened here? I tried looking for a cash flow statement. Wasn't able to find a cash flow statement. Well, it's selected. Maybe that's why it's not complete, lah. I guess. Okay, maybe that's why it's not complete. So we want to know where did the money go to, lah. Basically, yeah, we want to know where did the money go to. Um, that is, I think, the main concern. Everybody is asking that question, lah. Hey, you earn so much money. Where did the money go to, bro? and i don't think they are able to tell us that in the thing so i guess people are quite lazy lah. okay so i think they give guidance right? the guidance for the thing was not bad they actually beat the guidance for this has already been given okay uh what do i think of this guy should i will i buy it no right i'm not going to touch this first i think the margin is quite low lah, so i am not really interested in this kind of thing second the mode is not with this guy the mode is with nvidia right and amd right that's 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 where the mode is this guy is just an 
he assembles the servers he does custom servers right he makes the custom motherboard for the servers but i would say that's it like it's not really something you know you can't really other others can't do right okay others can buy a pre-made board for them the the the, the pre-made board it's gonna pre-made boards are cheaper right okay also so if you look at the forecast uh, it's a bit telling what kind of company this is uh. so look at the numbers it's projected to go up go up go up and then come down okay so what does that mean can anybody tell me what does that mean it just means that it is cyclical right okay this is a cyclical company and i think they are expecting a three-year cycle uh, one year two year three year cycle and the fourth year they think that you know we think that the cycle gonna peak at 2027 and that's it 2028 and uh, we are gone so actually i do expect this uh, this is quite true i do expect that the cycle is gonna peak and yep i don't think they were able to get the eps because they were expecting some sort of my mar uh, margin contraction also okay either way let's try to estimate uh, what what the cost what the things is 43 right plus uh 23.74 let's make it easy make it 24 and let this maybe be 10 okay and then let's minus out this 38 because you gotta count it man right we're gonna leave out the last one okay so divided by four right so you are looking at a company that grows maybe 9.75 percent okay at the end of the one two three the fourth year it grows 9.75 granted that most of the bulk of this growth comes here which is good right but it's you can't really get the cash out because it's very cap capital intensive so yeah you know i will assume that maybe a company that grows 12 percent um, and maybe i'm going to give it a two because it's a hot industry right and i'm going to multiply this this is my valuation uh, personal valuation for uh, smci i think maybe it should be worth about 584 dollars this is my take and it's 536 um will i buy this uh, i i think i will buy it okay i will buy it if the peg ratio were to be 1.5 okay yeah 1.5 that i'm not gonna buy a two p two pack i'm not gonna i don't even think i should give it a two pg uh, that, that's the thing i don't think it's fair to give it a two pg ratio why because the business is very capital intensive very very capital intensive so yeah that's it that, that's the problem and it's not really having those mode lah. okay it doesn't really have a mode right think about it it ma manufactures those servers right um, maybe the mode is because uh, the relationship with Jensen, so they, he's able to secure the GPU. Okay, the Nvidia GPU. Maybe his relation, maybe who knows? But it's it's hard to quantify such stuff. So is this a buy now? If you want to buy this at a bit lower than fair value, I guess yeah, I guess five thirty six you can buy it lah. Okay, but you gotta watch it carefully, man, and you better make sure that you know you can meet the earnings per share estimates uh. What happens if it doesn't meet the earnings per share estimates? Or what happens if it keeps uh, burning money to expand the business? Then it's not so amazing. Lah. That means. Right. Then it's not so amazing. Lah. Because it doesn't have anything amazing. It does have some proprietary cooling techniques. Lah. Right. Because when you build this, lah, it, it's got to be cool, man. So I think, I guess that's all uh, for, for this one. Uh, looking at the technicals, um, I see a head and shoulders here, comes down. 
tries to go up again another head and shoulders comes back down again i think some people were trying to buy this hoping that it's going to rally and all that so i suggest you all actually uh take your time uh, to memorize this pattern this is a head and shoulders uh, it's very bearish uh, okay so you should okay you should uh, you should at least recognize this pattern and you know have a bearish um you should have a bearish outlook whenever you see this pattern the price i here already told you it's like forming a top here so it's form it's form a top here right it's forming another top so the chart looks kind of topish for me lah okay the chart looks kind of topish i think the bubble is totally popping off so this one that's it for smci